All right, this is a walk around on the 2003 Porsche Carrera 4S. This car has 92,000 miles, actually 92,400 miles as of today after a nice trip to Big Bear, California. So this will be a walk around with as many observations as I can give and remember about the car. So first and foremost, up front, the front bumper has been replaced. There was uh, two minor collisions reported on the Carfax, uh, minor enough that they cracked the bumper, so they replaced the front and rear bumper. Two different situations, um, not uncommon to have them replaced. And the paint job on the bumpers are okay. The rear bumper, not as good, but Again, this is a 92,000 mile car. This is a driver and a really good driver. Uh, so perfect paint is, is really not, I mean, it's not the thing. I mean, if you want perfect paint, you can spend $1,000 or, or more and have the bumpers painted. But that's the first observation that the bumpers are replaced. Car looks great though. Turbo twist hollow spoke wheels. That is a factory option. That is, in my opinion, rare on anything other than a turbo from this generation to have the hollow spoke wheels, a rare option, uh, expensive, um, over $4,000 from the dealer and uh, super expensive. The GT wing, that GT wing is not standard, that the rear deck is factory. The exhaust is two-stage. So this is the early Porsche two-stage exhaust. So it does sound awesome. It is currently set in the loud mode. Now, not as loud as, you know, modern loud exhaust, but definitely louder than your stock exhaust. Uh, let's zoom in on the bumper for a moment. There is an imperfection in the bumper. It's hard to see, but it's right up in here on the edge where it's been, I, I touched it up and it's, it's very hard. Most people don't notice it unless I point it out. And there's some other little red paint marks that, again, the rear bumper is not perfect, but it also doesn't have a bunch of orange peel on it. Most people don't notice that the rear bumper has any issues at all. It has a new third brake light. Uh, that Those do often brake. Uh, it does have the, the standard Porsche tail light cracks. These little stress cracks are standard, standard, standard in the early 996 Porsches and no big deal at all. That's how you know it's an original car, that it has original tail lights. Another reason that you can see that the car hasn't been in a big bad wreck or anything because it doesn't have new tail lights. Uh, even that rear reflector in great shape. Uh, let's take a look while we're back here. Uh, new struts on the engine bay. Uh, the engine is running right now. I'm going to put the microphone up close to the engine for a moment so you can hear it a little better. No ticking, the engine runs strong, it's not leaking. Recent service work includes a clutch and intermediate shaft bearing and rear main seal, which is standard when you do the clutch. So good, the big ticket item, the LN Engineering rear, uh, IMS is done. Even new hood struts on the rear. Coming around here further, The car is in really good shape. There's a few places that have blemishes as far as little nicks and things in the paint. I'll show you a few here in a moment. But the wheels themselves, those hollow spoke wheels, are in great condition. They are now uh, on spacers, 25 millimeter spacers in the rear and 15 millimeter in the front. So what you get is it fills out the wheel well much better. That is one of those items that 
I think Porsche did not do well in this generation as they didn't fill out the wheel wells um, very well. Now, little things like this, there is somebody had chipped the paint on the fuel door here. It's been touched up, but everything's in good shape, but little touch up there. Windshield is in good condition. Uh, as usual, little rock pits and things from 92,000 miles, but no, no cracks and nothing to worry about there. Has new windshield wipers. Uh, covers on the side markers, the indicator markers here, they're not great, but it's also not worth changing out. Has a couple of uh, little cracks and like the fender liner right underneath there. That fender liner is a little bit chunked there, but again, no big deal. The brakes are in good condition. The front splitter is actually in really good condition, not damaged. You can hear the fans going up front. The, the frunk is, uh, the hood struts on the frunk are in good shape. All the plastics up under here have all been reconditioned and refreshed. So they all, they look really good. Uh, I did all that personally. Um, you can tell original hood, so nothing bad happened. Uh, one of the things that you'll know right away that something bad happened to a car is that it does not have the original hood and the original sticker um, on the hood. This car, of course, has it because, like I said, it wasn't a big wreck or anything. It was a fender dinger that they uh, probably cracked the fender into a pole and uh, they replaced the bumper. Um, headlights are good. The headlights could be polished out. I'm a big fan of the 996 headlights now. Um, I love them. This is, uh, this is my 20th Porsche, and I really like the 996 Gen. You can see those new tires up front. The rear tires are in great condition. They are matching tires. And then uh, interior-wise, uh, oh, and sunroof up there works. I really don't open the sunroof on a car like this. Uh, I don't open the sunroof. The interior is very clean. Uh, there, there is uh, a few things like, for example, the trim on the e-brake is missing. I don't know why. I've never seen that missing before, but the trim is missing. The seats are in great condition. There's no tears or rips in the seats. Um, both sides in good shape. It's very clean. The seats um, are present in the back. The seat cushions sometimes are stolen or missing. Uh, steering wheel and everything is good. Uh, the air conditioning has a, a stuck vent. It'll click a little bit when the air conditioning first gets started, but if you just move the switch to a different temperature, basically you just activate the air conditioning and make it change into a different vent pattern or it, it goes away quickly. It's just a minor little click and that happens. It's not worth tearing apart the whole dash to find out where that click's coming from. Air conditioning blows cold. Uh, I haven't really played with the stereo. I'm thinking that the antenna on the stereo may not be uh, set up correctly or might not be done right. Something's, you know, because sometimes it feels like the radio stations don't come in as well. But again, this is an older car where the antenna is built into the windshield. So I don't know, but I don't really care. I'm not listening to the radio. Uh, if it was my car long term, I'd put in a new Porsche Classic radio, and the new Porsche Classic radio has Apple CarPlay, and Google, and, and all that good stuff. So there it is, the 2003 Carrera 4S.